Welcome to Ecom Ranks. Are you looking to add custom fields or custom options to your Shopify product page without using an app? Then you are at right video. Just watch this tutorial step by step guide from start to finish. Then you are able to add different products options on your product page. For example, uh, for this product, uh, here is an option for name and here is an option for phone number. We are these are two custom fields. I will guide you on how to add it. And uh, another example here, you see that uh, there is a uh, checkbox option here for radio buttons. You are able to select it or do uh, custom things according to your product page requirements. Okay. From here, we are able to select the background color. And from here, <coughs> it's a different checkbox group option. Uh, here on the product page you are you can add all these custom fields according to your choice of the product page okay so let's get started our tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so first of all you have to click on themes and then you have to click on actions and then you have to click edit home Okay, once code uh, editor has been opened, you have to uh, basically we have to add a new section. First of all, we let open the product template section. Scroll down, there will be an option for product template. Okay, <laughs> open it and just select all this code. You can do it by Control A or Command A from Apple laptops okay I have selected it all and <coughs> you have to copy all the code click on copy okay so now just close it okay here we have to add a new section click on add a new section and here we have to add uh, give a name of our new section I am just giving uh, a name uh, on custom you can um, give any name according to your choice and click on create section after it's created we have to remove all this code and paste everything that we had copied from product template section uh, make sure you hit the save button after doing it okay uh, and now we have to copy this copy this custom okay now we have to add a new template here add a new template for product and select this liquid option from here and here we can paste this okay and click on create template okay once it is it's created you have to uh, you will see this line of code called section product template or product dot liquid or product uh, any name template it's just a name when you will see this line of code you have to uh, select it and paste this custom this custom page link over here okay and make sure you hit the save okay so now let's close this product custom liquid file and here custom dot liquid file we will add uh, some line of codes for the custom sections okay so this is the website resource that will be I will be sharing in the product description uh, in the YouTube description section you will get its link from there you have to open it and then you have to make sure that you have selected the line item property after uh, scrolling down from here you are able to add different fields okay so the first field is called text and the second one is text another text but it's a long text okay so you see the block is long and here uh, the block is small like you have uh, you you just want to take a name you have to use a text shot or if you want to take a message from your customers then you have to select text long okay so what are radio buttons okay to uh, add radio buttons you 
just have to add the options like one two or three okay so here the customers are able to select uh, one option from all of these things uh, this uh, this also according to your uh, product pages twice okay similarly you will see a drop down a drop down field from here the customers are able to select one two three one two three are just names i am giving an example and they have the checkbox and this is only one checkbox if you want to change its name you can do it from here like um, select it or blah 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 you can add any name okay and for the checkbox group here is uh, you can add select here this the text has been added and then similarly the, the checkbox group is added the difference between checkbox group and radio button uh, the checkbox group and radio buttons is that on checkbox group we are able to select more than one option and if we select radio buttons we are only able to select one option at one time okay so for now let's add uh, one, uh, one field of short text on our theme okay so I am adding add your name okay add your name if you want to make your customers to add this field necessarily then you have to uh, tick this option and then you have to copy this code okay click on copy to clipboard and now we have to move back to our custom dot liquid file section that we have created okay from here we have to uh, find this line, line of code okay this is the exact line of code that you need to find this is basically this is uh, the add to cart button on our product page or the buy it now button pages code okay and let me open any product for Okay, click on it and let us open our one product okay so this is the product and basically this is uh, add to cart button with type is equal to submit okay go back go back and from just above it we have to paste our code that we had copied okay uh, uh, let me copy it again copy to clipboard move back and paste it over here and hit the save button okay so now we have added add your name field on our product page the only one last thing or the one last step that is left that we have to choose the product template to custom okay for this we you have to click on the product and for those products that you want to show the custom fields you have to open it and move down and you have to select the theme template to custom okay we have named it custom in the section of the code so you you find a similar name here okay select the custom and hit the save button after it gets saved we have to reload the page and let's see whether it shows or not oh yeah it gets showed okay from here we can add any name like adam and hit the add to card new card here we see an option of adam that's it that's it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any question I am dropping my link of all the contacts in the YouTube description section and if you have any query you can ask me on Fiverr or on my WhatsApp. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.